Hey everybody, this is Pastor Sean Odom from Cross Point Church in Weatherford, Oklahoma with your God is Awesome and the Bible is Cool vlog. Today's focal passage is 2 Kings chapter 6, 8 through 19. Now, I'm just going to sum up this story for you. When Israel was at war with Aram, the prophet Elijah would constantly inform the king of Israel on the plan of the plans of the Arameans. Now, because of this, the king of Aram figured that he must have a spy or a traitor in their midst. One of the Aramean officers told the king that there were no spies, there was only Elisha. After some reconnaissance, the Arameans discovered the location of the prophet. Now the king decided to put an end to Elisha's prophesying days by sending chariots and horses to surround the city of Dothan where Elisha was. Now, the prophet's servant awoke the next morning to find that they had been surrounded and reported the impending doom to the man of God. Elisha told them, not to worry, because their men actually outnumbered the armies outside the city. Now, obviously stunned and disbelieving, Elisha uh, prayed for the servant to be able to see the spiritual realm around them. When his eyes were open, the man saw horses and chariots of fire carpeting the hills that encircled them. Now, when the enemy moved in, God struck them blind and Elisha as Elisha requested. Why do I tell you this story? This is a powerful story about the power of God. Elisha knew that the strength of God was far greater than any enemy that could come after him. His servant was given the opportunity to see that spiritual realm, and he saw the same truth Elisha knew. If we are given this privilege, we would no doubt see angels and demons locked in battle all around us. And we would see that our side, the righteous side, far outweighs that of the evil. Each day we're confronted with temptations and trials. And each day we're bombarded with doubts and fears. But if we stop to remember this story of Elisha, we can understand that we don't have to worry about these things. Why? Because our side is much stronger than those who come to defeat us. The power of God can eliminate cancer. The power of God can give us strength to resist temptation. The power of God can cause us to stand up to injustice the power of God can crush the opposition. The power of God can shine a light through the darkness of depression. The power of God can heal, uplift, comfort, solidify us in the face of the armies of Satan. And understand this and own it. And use that knowledge to eliminate any kind of fear from the equation. And you will be victorious over your enemy. I pray this over us all in Jesus' name. Amen.